Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Warden here. Today I'm going to give you a list of food ingredients to go to the grocery store and purchase. If you purchase it on Sunday, you can make it Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and then have it ready for your week to go. The goal is to get you to eat something green every day, so we're going to give you a variety of green vegetables with a little bit of crunch in there and some other ingredients to make it more palpable so you don't even have to eat raw vegetables. If you're a vegan, you can just use the bean options I give you. First up, you got to get some kale. I like the big bunches of kale, the green ones. You want to get the purple one that's all your grocery store has that's fine baby spinach leaves they come in boxes of baby spinach leaves a lot of times you can get them with mixed things but i don't like that because it's harder to prepare harder to tell if it's gone bad and hard to tell what's actually in there when it's in your vegetable drawer in your fridge third is carrots don't get those weird small bunch things that have the green stuff just get the big thick ones they usually come in bags get those i don't care if any of this is organic or not either one is fine celery and carrots are great because Carrots are going to add the color, but both carrots and celery add the crunch. This is why people like potato chips. It's the feeling of that crunch. So we're going to add that in there as well. Celery is amazing because it's high in fiber and has little to no calories. So you feel really satiated, but you didn't eat a lot. I recommend brown rice and quinoa. That way you have brown rice for lunch and quinoa for dinner. However, Her Majesty does not like brown rice. She likes white rice and she hates quinoa, as does my mom, who's also very healthy. If you want to get white rice, that's fine. Two cans of black beans. The reason you get them canned is that already cooked and ready to go. You can wash them, nuke them, they're good to go. Two cans of chickpeas. Same for the black beans, just give yourself some variety. And if you're a vegan, you have two sources of protein. Three big potatoes. Now, I know my homies in Slovakia don't have sweet potatoes, whereas Southerners in the States live and die by sweet potatoes. So sweet potato if you can. We're going to make some French fries out of these things. Otherwise, just get regular potatoes. Know where to get sweet potatoes. To my friends in Slovakia, please ship them to them. Greatly appreciated. And if you're doing meat, get chicken breast. I like the thinly cut ones, but if you get the big thick ones, that's okay. They just take a little bit longer to cook. For snacks, get yourself a bunch of bananas. It's okay if they're slightly green because they will not last longer than four days, five days, depending on what brand they are, when you bought them, etc. It's okay if you get a bunch of five and they're slightly green. That's completely okay. Apples, I do not like the raw, regular red apples. I actually like different kinds. So go to the grocery store and experiment. You can actually get multiple types of apples. You don't have to get the default red ones. They do taste different. So make sure you get one one for each day. Get yourself some healthy fats and a lot more calories if you're really hungry is to get some nuts. The raw uncooked almonds are great, assuming already unshelled, or walnuts and walnut halves as they often come together as so you don't have to unshell them. Those are great too. My older daughter likes pistachios. My wife actually likes the soy nuts. If you want to get one kind, that's great. If you want to get a mixture and put them together, that's great too. Again, this is just a nice snack. That's a supplement. It's healthy and it makes you feel full because it's got a lot of fat calories in it, which is good. Optional olive oil. It's for cooking. Don't need it, but I like it with potato fries. If you don't want it that's okay paprika and chili powder for spices her majesty doesn't like a lot of chili powder on her fries i like a lot both like paprika on it sea salt pepper are good if your cooking is awful you can add those and it adds good flavor to everything so no matter how bad you mess things up you can always just add sea salt and pepper and it's good to go funky comedina if a lot of vegetables is unpalpable even with adding rice and some kind of bean and or chicken to it it's hard for you to chew or just it's not your thing you can get a low calorie salad dressing that's okay just make sure that it's low calorie and has few ingredients to give an example the balsamic vinegar that I saw in one aisle had like 12. I went over to the bacon aisle and it had one. And lastly, if you are a southerner and non-vegan, it's required that you get barbecue sauce. Just make sure it has simple ingredients and low sugar. So that's it. Go get those ingredients and we'll teach you how to cook them and put them all together.